In any other U.S. presidential election cycle, the first Republican primary debate taking place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin next Wednesday would be just the usual frenzy. But when the leading candidate, Donald Trump, has to surrender to authorities charged with plotting to overturn the previous election, the stakes are rather different. We have never faced a situation like this with as many unpredictable elements as this nominating contest. Trump and his co-defendants have until noon on August the 25th to surrender to law enforcement at Atlanta's jail. Authorities will formally process the indictment over plotting to overturn the state of Georgia's presidential election results that helped Joe Biden win the White House. And that's just over 36 hours after voters have the chance to see Republican presidential contenders face off for the first time in a televised debate if Trump turns up. It's very classic Trump for him to sort of tease the idea that he might do the debate or he might not do it. Trump is reportedly snubbing his rivals and the Republican Party for a live streamed interview on X, formerly known as Twitter, at the same time. Campaigning for president while facing multiple trials across the country related to his attempts to overturn the 2020 election, allegedly hoarding classified documents and breaking campaign finance laws might be a logistical challenge for Trump but it's also a challenge for his rivals. They can't hit too hard at Trump because a lot of the Republican base thinks this is a political persecution. They think Trump is being unfairly targeted. Trump insists all the cases are a political witch hunt designed to stop him running for president again. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.